So this guy here, this is Peter Walters. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this video on YouTube. Let's just play through. Um, very popular touch football try assist uh, from the 90s. It's probably one of the greatest flick passes that you'll ever see. And there it is there. So let's have a look at what exactly is going on here, what type of play this is, and a couple of interesting things about the 90s that um, that have changed due to, well, um, international touch rules changing. And, and, and after this, you'll probably understand why one certain rule was changed. But we have a middle-middle play here. Oh, let me just get past this. Why is that circle still there? Okay, so we've got a middle-middle. Don't need that. So we've got two middles here. And what you're thinking is, okay, let's drag both middles up. And here's one middle here that's already sort of half presented themselves, but this is the 90s. Now, notice when the player with the ball, I'm not quite sure of his name, but he comes into the closer to the line and the two Australian guys, him and him, they just back off. In the 90s, we never actually had the rule where you had to move forward. So if you go back and you can search the um, the 1991, um, I think they're trans Tasmans or World Cup games between Australia and New Zealand, and especially line, line attack sets could go for a couple of minutes because teams would either walk out a couple of meters, three, four meters, and just hold on that line and only move laterally. That's why... A lot of old, um, older players that played when it was like this rule are so accustomed to doing like late switches because they use that to break holes in the defense. Whereas now you can bring them up and attack them while they're offside. Okay, so we have a middle dump. Now he's dumping on his own middle. That was just a bit of fun facts about the 90s touch football. So he's dumped on his middle and he split short side like it's a short side quickie. Now, normally I'd say if you're going to take off you want to be in front of this player because you want to beat them when they're offside. Let's just assume the other Australian player's offside. So in a sense, for a middle-middle um, takeoff, like a scoop, they've done it backwards. They've actually done it the wrong way. But when I say backwards, it's backwards in, in as far as a traditional run goes. What Peter is wanting to do, Peter Walters here, he's wanting to engage this player and make him chase him. He doesn't want to beat him. He's, his intentions are never to run through run through the line here. But let's watch the number seven from Australia. See, so he takes off at, at him first. And he looks him in the eye. Once you look someone in the eye, they're going to be engaged with you. Okay, the eyes can do so much more uh, than what you think. Okay, so once he's taken a couple of steps, the Australian player is onside. And now he's going to ship, shift his momentum this way. Which, obviously, if you're defending man on, the Australian defender will chase him. And that's exactly what he wants him to do. But because his first line was this way, a little bit to the short side, the link defender for Australia was, he's off screen, may have started moving that way as well. And now, as he takes off the open side, the link on his ins which is on his outside, but it's going to be on his inside. So the link out here for New Zealand knows this is coming. So he's propped and ready to just accelerate. Okay, and while while ever you've got two players here accelerating at the exact same time, both the Australian players are gonna be pretty reactive. So they've got to have some time to react. And you can see he's already started his run. And all Peter is doing now is getting this defender away from this area, just moving him away. As he chases him, he moves him away this way and just opens up. <sighs> I was gonna have an episode where it's just bad arrows. He opens up the hole for the link to hit. So that's the play in itself. It, it is sort of a ninja play. Very, very close to making the touch though. So it was actually quite a good effort. It's, it's a ninja play, but it's kind of like a man on ninja. So it's, it's something that you probably don't see much of anymore. Um, there are times you do see it, but let's have a look at another angle and we'll show you one thing, what makes it so much more effective. Now you can see here, there's his run towards the short side to engage that onside defender. 
Okay, and that little he, he kind of shows the ball at his hip, which means the um, the Australian link on this side might have started moving to the to the short side, thinking a long ball was coming or a rip pass to the link, and then he takes off into into the open side, and you can see the number seven here is um, is full speed already. He started out wide, and he's full speed. And watch what Peter Walters does with his eyes here. Well, I know you can see the back of his head. But you got a, you kind of got an understanding of where he's looking. And he's shaping and he's looking now to pass this way. So that'll release this defender here and make this defender chase him even harder. And there's the blind flick pass there. Now that there, you can run this play. Very close decision. You can run this play as much as you want, but <laughs> like I could get that line, I could practice that line. 10 times and maybe get that right. But that flick pass, that is just, I don't know whether it's natural or, or Peter practiced that a lot when he was younger, but that, that flick pass there is, um, is really cool. <laughs> it's not something that I can do. And it's, but, um, this is why I really enjoy watching New Zealand style of play because there is an element of, um, the old school way. You do see a lot of, um, late switches or they call them cuts. But let's have a look at that one more time. And there's the pass. Everything just sort of aligned in New Zealand's favour then. Really cool stuff. But yeah, that's just a little an analysis of um, of basically the greatest flick pass assist you'll, you'll ever see in the game. Uh, if you know a better one, let us know in the comments. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll have plenty more content out. This is, I just wanted to take this opportunity to to um to make a video on Peter Walter does as I met him for the first time uh the weekend before this video was made and he is uh, a gentleman uh loves the game very good player still at his age um and it was really really nice to meet him I'm very glad I met him so uh thanks for all your input in the game Pete and uh for all you guys thanks for watching see you next time